This is Jared, numero uno here, and this is Barkley Shut Up and Jam on Throwback Thursday. Released back in 1993 for the Sega Genesis and 1994 for the SNES, this 2v2 street basketball game received moderate reviews, a 63 out of, well, an average 63 out of 100. Uh, in this game, there's only one true rule, and that's to win. Okay, let's begin with the facts. Fact number one. Because Charles Berkeley's deal with uh, Sports Accolade, he was left out of the NBA Jam Tournament Edition and later copies of the original NBA Jam. Fact number two, there was a fully developed uh, version for the Atari Jaguar. It was just never released. Uh, fact number three, there is an official sequel, Barkley Shut Up and Jam 2, and two unofficial fan games. Uh, if you Google them, they're called uh, Tale of Games Presents Chef Boyardee's Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden, Chapter 1 of the Hoops Barkley Saga, or just Shut Up and Jam Gaiden. And its Kickstarter back sequel, um, The Magical Realms of Tyr Nai uh, Nog, Escape from Necron 7, The Revenge of Cthulhu, uh, the, the official game of the movie, Chapter 2 The Hoops Barkley Saga. Uh, it's also referenced as Barkley. Barkley 2, just to help you out there instead of trying to type that all out. Um, the fan games are also said to be sequels of Space Jam as well. Anyways, um, fact number four, Accolade, the developer of Shut Up and Jam, is responsible for the creation of the Test Drive series and the Hardball series before going defunct in 1999. Uh, fact number five, Shut Up and Jam was purposely made to be very similar to NBA Jam, meaning the two games are almost identical in mechanics, with the only major changes being in players and visuals. Mostly because of licensing issues, and I believe Barkley wanted to have it more of like a street feel than NBA Jam. Review. Uh, Shut Up and Jam is old, its mechanics aren't that great, and most of the games are just back and forth. Uh, but with friends, this game is a slam dunk. It's a great game to have just to laugh at, even if you don't know what's going on or you don't know how to play the game. Like I said, don't play solo, grab a bud and hit the court. I do have to give it a 4 out of 10 though. Questions, comments, or just plain gibberish? Put it in the comments below and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday on Game Guardians Genesis. Thank you.